Number nine, we are going to translate this sentence into a mathematical expression. Five times the number added to the sum of the number and six. We are going to use x to represent the number that we don't know. That's the variable that we are using throughout this expression. So let's begin. You see that we have five times the number. So let me underline a number. Added to the sum of the number and six. So these two right here are going to be the um, x later on. Okay. So right here, we have 5 times the number, that's 5 times x. I'm using a dot to emphasize that we are multiplying. You can also write it as 5x, because it's already implied. It's 5 multiplied with x. Let me just write this down first, and then let's look at this part. We are going to take this, add it to the sum, so we have to figure out what this part is, alright? This right here, the word sum means that we are going to add. The word sum that we are going to add. Well, what do we want to add? The number and 6. So, the number we know it's going to be x, and 6 is just 6. And what are we going to do with the x and 6? We are going to add them together. So these are pretty much ingredients. And now let's put them all together. You have to first know what x plus 6 is first. That's why I put the parentheses. x plus 6, because I want the number and 6 and the sum of them. And then, not just this, I also want to have 5 times x. I will take this, 5x, add it to this part. So at the end, I will just have to put plus 5. Because added, you, uh, you just add. What do you add? You add 5x, because it says right here. And the answer is, as you can see, d, parentheses x plus 6, plus 5x, outside of the parentheses.